Hi. So today I had two presentations for interactive slides and there were a lot of great questions. And then I did see some on the chat box on the side. So I want to address two of the questions in this short five, uh, four and a half minute video. The question was, how do we keep the kids from manipulating the slides? Because as you know, in, in PowerPoint, when you create it, all the, everything is movable. And then once you do that, how do you make the links interactive? So what I'm going to show you that you can see on the screen now is the raw slide where everything is movable right now. And that's what we don't want because we don't want the kids to be able to um, move anything around. So what you do is you have to make it a picture. And then once it's a picture, you have to overlay it so that you can insert your links. So this is how you do it. I'm going to work with just the first slide, but you can do this with the entire slide as you'll see when, when one of the questions pop up. So what you do is you go to File, and then you go to Export, and you go to Change File Type, and you make it a JPEG, and then you Save As, and I'm going to save this on my desktop, and I'm also going to save it, I'm going to make it number 99, no, I'll make it number 100, this way I can identify it on my desktop, and then I save it, okay? Now, here is when it asks me, do I want all slides or just this one? If you have created a full PowerPoint and you don't want any of the other slides to have movable parts, then you would select all slides. If you want to just do a specific slide that you want to use as the background for multiple slides, then you choose just the one slide. So I'm going to choose just this one. Now that I have saved it, I have to open up a new PowerPoint. So I'm going to open up new, and then I'm going to insert my picture that I just saved, which is on my desktop, number 100. So now that I have a picture that you can't move, it's no longer movable. The slide pieces are no longer movable. But at the same time, nothing is an active link. So in order to make the pictures now in the slide active links, you have to insert a shape and you overlay that shape. So say I want to make my calendar an interactive slide for the students. But if you notice it's blue or any other color, you don't want to cover your image. So what you do is you do shape fill and you say no fill. Now, and if you notice, it's still highlighted because we have these circles going around this image. So it's still active. Let's say I want to send this to another slide within my presentation, or I want to send it to the internet. Maybe I'm sending them out on a, a wild goose chase, or I want them to look at a video. What you do is you go to insert. If you want to send them out to the internet or to another document, you can insert and click here, it'll insert it so that when they click on it, that's where it'll take it. Or you can insert a link down here if you want it to go somewhere onto the internet. But I just want it to go within my PowerPoint slide. So I'm going to use hyperlink and I'm going to say next slide. And then I'm going to say OK. So. I'm going to add another slide here. I'm just going to do new slides so that you can see that it actually went somewhere. And I'm going to call it testing slide. So this way you know that's where it's going. So I'm going to go back to slideshow from the current, from the beginning. If you notice, the arrow stays an arrow. But once I go over to the calendar, it changes to a hand, so I know it's not interactive. When I click on it, it takes me to the next slide. So this is how you, number one, you make it so that the slide pieces become a picture so the kids can't manipulate it. And number two, you learn how to make a link. Let's say, for instance, you now want to use this same slide for the background for a few things for whatever reason, and you want to add stuff to it. You just control D, and then you can make as many slides as you want as you're adding stuff to it. You might want to just save your background without putting any stuff, anything in it. And you might want to make four or five slides of that. Just control D it. Control D on a, uh, on a regular one, not a Mac. 
the Mac, you have to hit something else. I don't know how. But that's how you can copy it. This is a fast way, a shortcut. Okay, I hope this helped you. Have a great day.